Well guys, pasture check time. See how much grass they've been eating and how much they haven't? Stop in the shade or it's not quite as hot as it has been. How are we doing? I hope you people have had more rain than I've had because we just haven't had squat for rain. Uh, moving sheep around the pastures a little bit again. Moving them around, I decided better come out here. It's amazing to me the difference you'll find. You'll, you'll get some spots in the grass that's pretty good. You get down to other spots, there's almost nothing. That's the thing about sheep I've noticed. They like to get in one spot and just keep eating. So it helps keep moving, keep them rotated. But today we're going to talk, we're going to be talking a little about feed and nutrition again, but this time from a different standpoint. This time I want to get down to it's the time of year and what we need to look forward to in just a little bit. Let's take it up by the barn, see if we can find a cooler spot. And I got something I want to show you. Stick around. All right. Let's set up under the catch pen, under cover in the shade and get a breeze. It has been hot lately. It has been dry. I don't get any rain. Everybody to the south gets rain. I don't get squat, but that's the way it goes. But that's where I want to talk a little bit nutrition. Pasture-wise, this is the time of year if it's been dry, your grass is not worth nearly what it was early in the season. So we're feeding some grains and this and that. I hear a lot of people ask, okay, mineral. What minerals do you give and this and that? And I mean, I'm not big on minerals. I don't do a lot with minerals. And I probably should, probably do some salt box. Really haven't gotten into too much of that. I like the looks of my used right now. They're looking good. They're looking slick. Uh, the ewes that I took the lambs off of back in the end of May, 1st of June, they're looking really good. I like the looks of those. The ones that still have lambs on them, they're looking pretty decent. A couple are a little thin, but I mean, I got one moufle on you that her name is Little because she was little. And our lamb is almost as big as she is. So she's a little thin, but they're, you know, anywhere from, what, 8 to 10 weeks on those lambs now. So we should be to the point the ewes are going to start kicking them off and telling them no more. And that they're all, the lambs are up eating grass, they're up eating grain and everything else. So they'll get less and less, And but I'm not going to take them off. They're all ewe lambs, so they're just going to stay there uh, to probably October, November, something like that. Then we'll separate off because we don't want to breed those. They'll be too young for that. But mine are looking fairly decent. As I said, I don't, minerals, so many people talk about it. But I think sometimes a lot of people that raise horned hair sheep, if there's guys, they're probably guys that hunted. And they deer hunted and they saw the mineral blocks you put out and the horn blocks and all the stuff you put out for deer. But sheep are not deer. Horns are not antlers. Antlers takes minerals. You want minerals for antlers. When you're talking horns for sheep, you want protein. Sheep horns are like fingernails and toenails, all right? The more protein, you don't want to go over, I say more protein, but let's not go overboard. A good, steady source of protein grows the fingernails, will grow the horns. So you want to keep the protein levels. The second thing I want with my ewes, all right? Uh, I'm doing this at the end of July. Another few days, we're going to be into August. This year, my son-in-law just talked about it. We're going to put the rams in with the ewes on November 1. We want to try to shoot for more of an April 1 lambs because we had some in March last year and we had coal, we got snow and all kinds of stuff. We said, hey, let's back this off two or three weeks. What difference does it make? If I'm raising commercial sheep, hair sheep or whatever, and I'm raising meat sheep for a meat market, and I know I have a religious holiday coming up, so I want my sheep to have the certain weight I want by these certain holidays, and I'm breeding for that, then yeah, you may want to do something different. I'm raising horned hair sheep. I'm raising, I'll raise some for meat, but I don't have a, a certain time of year that I really need to have a bunch of market lambs ready for that time of year. So in that respect, why sit out here and have these coming up in March? I'm gonna shoot for them on the first of April. If you're down south, you probably don't care. If you're up north like I am, eh, that's something to think about. But anyway, that gives me August, September, and October. I got three months to have my ewes ready for breeding. I want everybody in good shape. And right now I got lousy grass. I got grass that ain't the greatest. 
All right, it's it's out there and they got grass and I move them to new pastures and they're real happy when they get out to new pasture. They'll go out and they'll look it over and another day I'll move them over again. But the quality of the grass isn't nearly what it was early in the year. So what do you do? Well, like I said, I heard people saying minerals, but I'm more interested in protein. I can feed more feed. Feed will help there. You can feed more grain and this and that. But I go a different route and I go with a lick tub, a protein lick tub. Crystal Licks. This is from usually available through Hubbard Milling. Hubbard Feeds uh, has done these. To be honest with you, uh, 10, 15 years ago, for horses, they make one called Stable Licks, and I was actually a dealer. I sold lick tubs to some of the big quarter horse breeders in the area. I used them myself and sold it to other ones since then. But they also make a Sheep Licks, a sheep tub. Uh, it's 18% protein no added salt. So this is not going to give you minerals and salt. There is no added salt here. You got a whole list of ingredients, but the main one is I got 18% protein. This tub right here is 125 pounds. Actually, this one's empty. This lasted three days over a month. All right, so basically 33, 34 days, whatever you want to call it. That's how long this one lasted. I have 10 ewes, five lambs. I got a 125 pound tub, so basically they were eating four pounds of this a day, which some are probably eating more. I think it says right on here, one to three ounces. Uh, I got some, I'll bet you was eating more than four ounces a day. Some of those sheep were, but the nice thing is the lambs get right in here. They love it. It's good for the lambs. I'll tell you, it really slick them up. I love tubs. I guess I started these tubs when I started with horses, and that's because I had an old, old horse, and this just did wonders for that horse. And I think it really helps the sheep. I'm looking at ewes. I like the looks of them, and I think a lot of it's going to be from a lick tub or a protein tub, however you want to call it. So nutrition, salt, and minerals, they probably need it. Yes, they do. Uh, you can look at that, but if you're raising for horns, and you want to keep your ewes in good condition and be ready for October, November for come breeding season and your rams to be in good condition, I think a lick tub. I think a lick tub is, is a good deal. Uh, 125, you can still manage those. They're not the easiest to manage sometimes, but you, just, you can put them on edge and roll them around. They make a smaller 50 pound tub. I know where my daughter, this is where I get this through her. They handle, I'm not even sure if that's a Hubbard tub to be honest with you but it's a little smaller one if somebody likes smaller, so they do make smaller lick tubs. You'll have to check in your area and see what's available. But anyway, I want to mention, think about protein. When you're thinking about supplements and this time of year and it's hot and it's dry and the feed quality is eh, you might want to think about a, a protein supplement is in a lick tub more than you would a mineral supplement. I think it makes a difference. Want to make one other thing real quick. I don't know if you watch my fishing videos. I've talked about my t-shirts I sell there. I've also got the Rams ones here. I got this one. I got a patriotic one. Uh, I'm hoping to have that into a pop socket here real shortly. I'll put a link down in the description. I got a website where you can go look at them if any of them missed you. Hey, I'd appreciate it. Not nearly big enough that I get sponsors. So sometimes you got to do anything that you can to make ends meet. But that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.